Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Masumin Islamic Center's Community Garden in 2020. Last year, the garden was established with the vision of generating fresh and organic produce that would be donated to support local families, easing the worry over food insecurity. Another objective was to improve the well-being of the volunteers involved in the growing process. Gardening is a known form of therapy that improves both physical and mental health. Last year, some of the fruits and vegetables were also distributed to the community through Niaz and Taburuk served at our center. This year, due to the COVID-19 environment, a dedicated team of 10 gardening and watering volunteers was set up to attend the garden each day of the week. Volunteers managed the upkeep of the garden while going separately to ensure social distancing protocols were met. The next couple minutes are meant to provide a virtual walkthrough and provide an update on this year's growing season. So let's begin. As you can see, there are six garden beds and the number of individual planters set up where the vegetables are being grown. As we come to garden beds one and two, the prolific green vegetation belongs to the russet and Kennebec potatoes. Because potatoes are deep rooted vegetables, trenches were dug in rows one to two feet deep and five seedlings were planted in each row. Potatoes typically take around two to three months to mature and produce full-size tubers ready for harvest. Now we move to garden bed three, where we have three different types of peppers being grown. Firstly, we have the Brazilian starfish, which are still coming in. Next, we have the sumptuous sweet banana peppers growing in the largest quantity and ready for harvest. These peppers are mild and packed with nutrients. Additional peppers were planted in the pots, and here we have pimento peppers with a low Scoville heat rating of 500, where the strong green will eventually ripen to red. These peppers will go really well with nahari or a chicken gelfrezi dish. Garden number four was split into two halves. The left side was used to grow radishes, which were all harvested just a week ago, and is now empty with just a few carrots remaining. The right side of the garden is plentiful with carrots. Coming to garden bed number five, this is where the zucchinis and patty pan squash were planted. As you can see, the leaf structure is very elaborate and vigorous. With all the main crops inside the garden, companion plants were grown along the peripheries and in between. Companion plants for zucchinis are marigolds and nasturtium, which can be seen towards the middle of the bed. Finally, we come to garden bed number six, which is one of the most exciting of all. Sugar baby watermelons growing up to 8 to 10 pounds are being grown in this bed. These icebox melons grow on vines, and if they are not directly sitting on the garden bed, they are hanging off vines that have been woven through a supportive trellis. Watermelons growing off the trellis are cradled in hammocks that support the weight of the growing fruit and protect them from separating too early from the vine. We've now reached the end of this virtual tour. We hope you've enjoyed it. The majority of the MIC garden harvest has been donated to the food bank and thus far over 20 pounds of produce have been provided, with much more to come, inshallah. Stay tuned for more updates by the Masumin Green Initiatives Committee. And if you're interested in joining the team, please send email to green at masumin.org.